Jen and BJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing 20 exercises performed all in a row, and we're just going to do one set of each exercise. Our working time is 60 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds. Be sure to push yourself for the entire 60 seconds, even if you have to make modifications. If you like this workout, hit that like button, and let's get to work. <laughs> All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch and you want to start to work on now, be sure to do so. Our first exercise we're going to be doing for our warm up is going to be leg swings on the left leg the entire time. Here's what we're going to do is you can hold on to something if you want to help maintain balance. We're just going to swing our leg back and forth here. There we go. So just trying to feel the stretch out in the hips and as you come forward in the glute and hamstring. There we go. Good controlled movements as we go through the time. Try to kick a little further back and a little higher up. Feeling everything stretch out and warm up. Because we're going to need it. Today's workout is going to be a tough one. You can already feel it. All right, we're going to switch sides. Going to the right side now. Scoot up. I'm on to you. <laughs> I already felt it. It's your opportunity to kick me in the butt. That's the point. I'm trying to stretch it out. I got tight hips. Is it? Is it? They're like a board. They don't move. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next, we're going to spin our feet out a little bit. We're going to do alternating toe touch. Jump in, down, touch, I'm down, switch sides. There we go. If you want, you can have a slight bend in your lower back as you can come down. Not a huge one. Just kind of warm that lower back up a little bit and then do a few more RDL style. Keeping the lower back straight, bending at the hips. There we go. If you can't touch your toes, that's fine. But you need to work on that. One more. <laughs> All right. Same, same stance, except now we're just going to twist side to side. So we're going to get some chunk twists here. There we go. Again, as the time goes down or counts down, try to twist a little further, warm everything up. Go if you want, you can even start kind of getting that pivot in, feeling the hip flexor stretch out. Here we go. All right, next one we're going to is bodyweight squats. So dropping down, coming up. Make sure to keep that lower back straight like this. We're not coming down like that. Come back up. Chest out, head up. If you want to put your arms out, you can. If you want to keep them here, you can. Here we go. Go at your own pace. If you want to get a nice little hold at the bottom, you can do that too. All right, last one. I'm just going to get some arm circles in. With my arm circles, I'm going to try to kind of turn it into a little chest opener too so I can feel my chest stretch out because we got some push-ups coming up. There we go. Switch, switch it. Reverse it. There we go. You can do big circles, small circles, any type of circles, ovals if you want. We don't care. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started with the workout. If you haven't started your fitness tracking watch, be sure to do so now. Our first exercise we're going to go into is run in place. So it's just like you're running, but you ain't going forward. We're just doing it in place. Low impact, we're just going to kind of be marching it out right here. So what we're going to be doing here is alternating cardio and resistance training movements. So the resistance training movements, be sure to push yourself. Let's go. Here we go. Run in place. Coming up. All right. Here we go. Even on the cardio, you better push it. Don't be over here just thinking about work or what you're going to have for breakfast. I'm warming up. Whatever. I'm we're going to get it going. It's more like a sprint in place. Takes me a while to get. Get going. Here we go. We're going in to high knees. Make it fun. Step it up a notch right out of the gates. Here we go. Come on. Get those knees up. You get a little impact. You're just kind of lifting them a little higher. There we go. Come on. Come on. All right. 
right, we're going to go in the butt kickers now. Get those heels to the booty. Come on. Try to keep your heels off the ground. Low impact, you're still doing the same thing. You're just not hopping. Right here like that. Here we go. Come on. Get that heart rate up. If you got a watch, check your watch. Make sure that heart rate's nice and high. There we go. All right, next exercise we're going to is squats. So I'm just going to do a hex squat here, so I'm going to keep my hands by my side. If you want to do a front squat, you can curl them up. You can sit them on your shoulders if you want. Whatever, just keep that back nice and straight. Drop down, come up. Here we go. All right, let's go. Back nice and straight, chest out, head up. Come down as far as you can. Come back up. There we go. Also, make sure that as you go to push up, your knees don't buckle in like that. We don't want that happening. As we come up, we want those knees to stay pushed out. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Let's speed up a little. It is more cardio focused, high intensity workout. So let's get there. Come on. Boom. Boom. There we go. Keep pushing 15 seconds. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. Chest out, head up. Keep going. Let's go. One more. There we go. All right, next we're going to scissor jack. So I like to start with a little bit of split stance and then hop. So which, which foot goes forward? Low impact, you can kind of just put one out like that. Here we go. All right, hands by the side. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Try to keep a good pace. Here we go. Come on. Heels off the ground, exploding through the calves. Let's go. Let's go. Breathe. Focus on that breathing. Good control movements. Halfway. So we playing hands with me over here. Try to high five. Unless you want to. I'm going too much. <laughs> you got scissor dance jacks. It's laughing to me. Come on. Got the hips working. <laughs> Come on. Moving everything. So we go, all right, we're going to drop down to the ground for this next one. We get some push ups. Here we go, hands out nice and wide. Here we go, if you can do it on your toes, do it on your toes. If not, drop down to your knees. Here we go, start in the hardest position that you can do. So it's going to be on your toes, and then if it gets too tough, Drop down to your knees. If it's still too tough, another option, drop down, take a little one second break, push back up. Come down, one second break, push back up. Here we go. So breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Exhale as you extend those arms. There we go. Keep that core engaged. We don't want our butt up here doing them like this. We also don't want our hips sagging like this. We're not doing the worm. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Keep pushing. 10 seconds. One more. Woo! Good stuff right there. All right, next we're going in to faux jump rope. Shouldn't need a mat. For another couple exercises. So, full jump rope, it's like we're jump roping, but we ain't kind of doing rope. Low impact, I want you to just get some calf raises. Alternating calf raises as you can, if you can. Here we go. Another option for low impact is as you come up for a calf raise, raise those arms up so you're still kind of getting some shoulder work in. If you are doing full jump ropes, 
You can also alternate which foot you land on. You can do some on one foot, and then switch it up. There we go. Come on. Halfway. Woo! Come on. Keep pushing. 20 seconds. Breathe. How do you feel over there? Are you bouncing side to side like that? Who's in half sky? No, no, no. What do they call it? Um, I think it is. This is it? I don't know. Oh, there's a bunch of people. All right, next, oh. we're going in the middle of the rows, left side. So, get the split stance. Right leg out front, right arm goes on the right knee. Left arm's rolling. Just like that, the entire time. We're burning up right here. Here we go. Come on. Boom. Boom. All the way down, all the way up. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you pull the dumbbell up. Keep that back nice and straight. I'm not doing this number right here. Let's go. Let's go. Come up, squeeze. Come on. Try to speed up a little. Come on. Get that heart rate up. Let's go. Come on. 15 seconds. Woo. Burn that back up. There we go. Couple reps. Woo. There we go. Good stuff right there. Alright, next one we're going into is step out. So, stand nice and tall. We're going to alternate which foot goes out. Low impact, you're just tapping real quick. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Work those arms. The faster you move your arms, the faster your feet are going to move. Don't have your arms just come here. I'll dang one like your gumby arms. We only got noodle arms. We got athlete arms. Let's go. Let's go. Keep your heels off the ground. Oh, we're burning calves up. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Keep going. Let's go. What you got? Are you dancing again? Are you dancing? Does it look like it? It always looks like it. Let's go, come on. So it's like you're skipping, but we're going in place. Driving with that leg and arm, low impact, you're still gonna come up, you're just not gonna get the hop. 
but you should get the cap raise. Make sure to use those arms as you come up. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Nice, soft landing. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. Use those arms. Good control movements. Come on, 20 seconds. See if we can speed it up a little. I know you want to speed it up a little. Come on. Alright, let's go. Woo. Let's go. Come on. Woo. Alright, next one we got alternating lateral lunges. You can use one or two dumbbells here. I like to use one, just kind of hold it in that goblet position right here. And then from here, we're gonna go down, come up, so sides. Here we go. Keeping that back nice and straight. And we go chest out, head up. If you do end up leaning forward, it's fine as long as it happens in the hips and not in the lower back. Try to go down as far as you can while maintaining good form. Let's go. Come on. Almost halfway. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Keep pushing. There we go. One more. Oh. Woo! Oh man. Good stuff. Next we're going in to DB swing. So we'll do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. We're gonna keep our lower back nice and straight, drop down at the hips and knees, explode up, bring it here. Boom. Here we go, drive through those hips. Don't forget to breathe, exhale. Put your brain's on below. Come on. There we go. Keep pushing. Come on. Right, we're going to switch it up here in a couple seconds. I'm going to switch now. This takes me longer. Well, we switch at different points. I actually like going with the dumbbell. You don't. <laughs> it's a slow transfer. Explode through those hips. Lower back stays nice and straight. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Last one. Boom. Woo! All right, we're going to drop down to the ground for our next one. We're going in the crunches. So lay down on your back, hands behind the head, knees up from here, come up, come back down. Make sure you get those shoulder blades off the ground so when you come up, get those shoulder blades up, come back down. Exhale as you come up, squeeze the core. If this is too tough, you can drop those knees, still try to come up. Squeeze the core. Exhale as you come up. There you go. If you want, you can get a little extended hold at the top by squeezing. Come back down. There we go. Come on. Run those abs up. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. One 
one. Woo. There we go. We're standing back up. We're going into half jacks. See if we can fly away on these. So it's like jumping jacks, but we're only coming halfway with our arms coming back down. That way we can try to speed up the movement, get that heart rate up a little higher. A little impact. You're just putting one foot out at a time, like this. Still trying to push it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Oh, there we go. Speeding it up, huh? Come on. Push yourself. Get the heart rate back up. Let's go. Let's go. Heels off the ground. Come on. Engage the core still. Let's go. Let's go. 20 seconds. Let's speed it up. We're about to fly away. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. dumbbells here we're going in to alternating forward lunges so we're going to switch feet every time come out back up don't drop that knee all the way down here we go stepping out explode switch legs boom here we go starts to get too heavy drop one dumbbell still too heavy drop both just try to keep working Push it out. You got this. Come on. Woo! You face that burn. 20 seconds. Come on, 10 seconds. Get our push up in, come up, stand up, drop back down. Take your time on this, try to make it all the way through. Here we go. Drop them down, push up, come up. You put your hands up or leave them down. Let's go. If push ups are too hard, then I just want you to drop into plank position, come back to here, and then drop back down like that. So that's your modified version. Come on. Try to make it all the way through this. Don't kill yourself for the first 30, 40 seconds and then not be able to finish. Come on. If you have to start using your knees to get up and look like that, that's fine. Just keep going. That's what it's all about, 15 seconds. Come on. Keep pushing. Ah, one more. Way to go. Want to drop down on the ground here? Get some leg lifts in. We got a pile of sweat over there. It's actually a puddle. Woo! All right, drop down on the back here. If you want, put your hands up under your butt. There we go. We're just bringing our legs up, back down. If you want, you can get that little hip thrust. If this is too difficult, I want you to come down right here, come up, squeeze. Kind of like we're doing a little reverse crunch. Here we go, another option. Come down, rest for a second, come back up. Like that. There we go. Boom. Let's go. Squeeze that core. Oh yeah. 
Come on, you got this. Push it out. Come on, 15 seconds. There we go. Keep pushing. You got this. There we go. Woo! Great stuff. All right, we're going into punch outs. Here's where you can take out all that anger you have on me for the burpees. <laughs> so feet nice and wide here. Just left, right, left, right with the punches. Drive through the legs and hips. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, push it. Drive. Don't forget to breathe. I'm gonna wear those shoulders out real quick. And then worry about some more on the next exercise. Let's go. Come on. Halfway. Come on, keep punching. Right, let's go. 20 seconds. Come on. Ah. Dig deep, dig deep. 10 seconds. Let's go. Come on, a couple more seconds. Woo! Uh, all right, next one we're going into linear jammers. Uh, a little shoulder, shoulder work here. So, grab a dumbbell. Left hand back, left leg back. Bring it up, dumbbell to the left hand, pushing up, coming back down. We'll switch it halfway. If you have to, Drop down at the legs, explode, explode. If it gets too heavy, then I want you to switch. Give it 15 seconds, switch again. So that way you're kind of changing it up every 15 seconds. Jeez, what did I pick up? <laughs> 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 this is those punch outs. Oh. All right, switch it up. Switch sides. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Come on. Breathe. 15 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Great stuff. 20 second break. We're going into clean pulls next. We're gonna do left side for 30, right side for 30. Here we go, so dumbbell on the left hand and the center of us. We're gonna drop with the hips and knees, pull it straight up to our chest. We're gonna be here, the dumbbell doesn't come away from us. It stays up against our body. If you want it to be more upper back, then take less bend at the knees and perform the movement more with the upper back. A little more leg work, drop further down into a squat and explode up. There we go. Let's go. Keep pushing. All right, switch it up. Come on. Let's go, come on. You got this. Keep it nice and close. There we go. Right, keep going. A couple seconds. One more. Woo! All right. Last one we got coming up. Bicep curls. On to the fun stuff. Bicep curls. <laughs> and then we're done. And bicep curls. <laughs> That's the only fun stuff. So we're just curling it up, come back down. If it gets too tough, just alternate left, right. Here we go. If you want to do hammer curls, that's fine. That's where the palms face each other the entire time. If you want to switch it up, do a normal curl, hammer curl. You can even throw in reverse curl. Woo! 
Uh, one more. Burn those biceps up. Let's go. Come on, push through. This is our last one. After this, we're done. Come on. Come on. A couple more reps. Here we go. Oh, we got one more. Oh. Woo! Oh, man. That's something else. Oh. Good stuff yeah. right there. We're going to push it. All right, now we're going to do a little cool down here. Get some water real quick. Grab your sweat towel. I'm doing some sweat, so I gotta wipe it off. All right, first exercise we're going to do is just a uh, stagger stance, hamstring stretch. What we're gonna do here: slight bend in that knee if you want. I like to have a slight bend in mine. If you want to lock it out, you can. From here, keep that lower back nice and straight, bending at the hips. Start feeling it back here, stretching it out. I, when I have like a, so that's locked out for me, and just slightly bend it. That's when I feel it the most in my hamstring. There we go. Alright, come up. Switch sides. Opposite side, standard hamstring stretch. Oh, I feel this one pulling big time. Let me keep that lower back straight. It doesn't matter. I get the same stretch from being here or here. We're not trying to stretch our lower back. We're trying to stretch the hamstring and glute here. There we go. Alright. We come up. We're going to go into the quad stretch. You're just going to do single legs standing. I'm going to do mine. Uh, kneeling on the ground. I'm going to do this. A seated saddle here. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of sit down like this and then drop my butt onto my heels if I can. It's a little tough with uh, a couple knee surgeries, but make it happen. If it gets too tough, then just kind of come out of it, relax for a second, and then try to drop back into it. You don't even have to put all your weight on, you can keep your hands on the ground, kind of push down, and then if you can sit up into it. Try to relax. If you're doing the quad stretch like Jen, make sure to switch. Did you already switch? I just switched, okay. yeah. I realized <laughs> I was switch. Sure. I was like, I think you started with your right leg, but I'm not sure. Lift my right leg up. There we go. All right, next thing we're gonna go into is a calf stretch. So, Jen's gonna do downward dog with alternating. Calf stretch. If you don't want to drop down to the ground, what you can do is put your hands on the wall, kick that foot out, and then push your heel down to the ground like this. Hopefully, it's not over your sweat and your foot doesn't slide, but it is what it is. So, you can just kind of switch it up. If you want, you can even have like both legs out here, alternate. There we go. Driving the weight into those heels, feeling the calves stretch out. Don't forget to breathe. All right, there we go. Next stretch we're going into is a pigeon stretch. So we're going to be on the ground here, stretch out our hip. So what I'm going to do is bring my left leg in front of me, and then I'm actually going to kick my right leg back and almost like straighten it out behind me. And then start to slowly drop my weight onto that front leg. Feel it stretching out in the hips. I think I need a bigger mat. I know, because my <laughs> mat is just sliding. Yeah, if you want, you can also kind of sit up like Jen's sitting. Focus on that hip on the side that is in the front. So right now, both of our left legs are in the front. So we're stretching out that left hip. If you want to lean over, you can. Make sure that back stays nice and straight. Don't forget to breathe. So 
but it's coming down. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna switch it up here. Take your time. You probably don't have to rush. Slowly sit into it and feel a stretch. Take your time. Don't forget to breathe. Knees into it. There we go. All right, final thing we're going to do is seated shoulder extensions. So we're going to sit on our butt, point our fingers backwards, and then from here, keep that back nice and straight, chest out, and then scoot our butt away from our hands, allowing our shoulders to stretch out. Keep that chest pushed out. You don't want to bend the lower back like this and then try to scoot out. It's not really stretching anything. Don't forget to breathe. I'm going to kind of ease into it. What I kind of do is just rock my knees back and forth and slowly scoop my butt out away from me a little bit at a time. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. If you want, you can turn your fingers down towards your feet. Again, keeping that back nice and straight, and then slowly scooting that butt away. Feel it on a little bit different part of the shoulder. I think this is the way I need the most. Yeah. There we go. All right, there we go. Cool down complete. That's what I'm talking about. Need help? <laughs> I right, hope you guys enjoyed that workout. If you did, smash that like button. Boom, man. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.